Dancing it with them, I think my name is Lee Thomas. I'm one of the candidates for uh, Executive Council. I'm seeking re-election uh, in this upcoming election that uh, for the past uh, close to four years that I've uh, I've been in leadership for uh, in the capacity of Executive Councillor. Um, a lot of people have, uh, you know, uh, talk, are talking about change and I ask you, what is change to you? Uh, change to me is uh, when you, uh, you know, when you affect real change by achieving uh, projects that, uh, that are meaningful to, to the nation. And uh, during my time, I, uh, I just didn't sit around and wait for, uh, for anyone to come and give us anything. Uh, I went to work. I've worked hard to, uh, to, uh, to achieve uh, these projects. Uh, the first project that, uh, that I've achieved along with my team is a $22 million uh, fiber backhaul uh, being built right now. It's 90% complete. All it, all it needs is the, uh, you know, some slicing, testing, and uh, you know that it'll be ready to go. Uh, I've also uh, <clears throat> put in another application for $17 million through the Universal Broadband Fund. That'll, uh, that'll be the network that, that'll be built in Cross Lake. Um, and that'll, that'll hooks up to the, uh, the rest of the world uh, in, in real time. You know, there's not going to be any lagging or anything like that that, uh, that we seem to face with uh, current services. Um, you know, there, there's going to be a lot of jobs that uh, that'll, that'll come from there. You know, the, the build itself, you know, it should take about two years and uh, there'll be employment there. Yeah, but not only are there going to be jobs, there are going to be careers. And that's very important to me to, uh, to turn, you know, uh, our people to, uh, you know, professionals in, uh, in particular fields. And uh, not only the, the connection itself, you know, um, looking towards, uh, you know, uh, app development, software development, you know, servicing as well, you know, uh, to uh, that those are my long-term goals. And, uh, and I hope I, uh, I do see that if, I, if I'm not in, uh, in, in leadership. You know, I hope somebody carries that work that, uh, that needs to be done. Um, but the main thing is the, the planning that I've done. I, I, know, I know it inside out. I, I know what I need to do to get there. Um, another uh, project that I remember, and additionally, uh, I, I did uh, uh, gain, um, you know, $3 million for the uh, health center uh, hookup as well. So that uh, it won't have the uh, you know service interruptions that uh, is very key that it it doesn't and uh, you know that's another three three million dollars uh, that that right there you know forty two million dollars in uh, project funding that uh, that I've uh, that I've achieved with uh, you know solid teamwork uh, another thing that I've uh, I've worked on uh, it took us less than a year to uh, to um, negotiate and uh, you know sign is the uh, is a medical boarding home on 690 Portage Avenue. You know, I know it's not perfect, but uh, you know, we're, we're just learning. It's been in operation in less than a year. I will get better as, as we go on. So, you know, that, uh, that right there tells you, you know, um, that there is change. And, uh, you know, I like to continue that change. And another thing that, I, uh, that I'm, I'm working towards is the uh, property on uh, Osborne Street at uh, Bell MTS currently occupies. They're, they're in there for another two years. You know, that's a guaranteed $1.2 million per year. And if they, uh, if they renew their lease, you know, the, uh, depending on the terms, uh, the, the 5, 10, 20, you know, uh, that, that's guaranteed money there if they renew. If not, then I will repurpose the building for, for the citizens of Pimichikamak to have everything centralized. And uh, you know, so we, no one run, is running around the, the city to get their prescriptions. You know, um, their uh, daycare, sir, uh, daycare. You know, you know stuff like that. Uh, you know, it, it needs to. We need to make things easier for for everybody. Um, another thing that I'm uh, currently working on is to uh, get our own police service. Uh, the current service that we have has met its uh, capacity. It's time that uh, we um, 
we uh, forge ahead with our own service, uh, service that will be determined by us. And with that service, uh, we, you know, I've all, I'm already working on the uh, Justice Building, which will be five floors. You know, uh, to house the uh, Justice Program, the Police Service, and other other key services that uh, we go to, you know, uh, distances to to obtain. So uh, it's important that we bring everything together, all in one building, and uh, you know that uh, to cut down the cost of uh, you know traveling. Um, Another thing that uh, I'm working on right now is the uh, the all-weather dome for you know the citizens of Pemichkamac, where we can play soccer, run track, you know, and uh, bring our kids to uh, you know to to run around during uh, the cold months. Uh, they cannot be uh, you know uh, we cannot expect them to you know be in houses all all winter. Uh, they'll have a, a really a good good space that uh, for them to run around and uh, in in that uh, the auxiliary building is uh, we'll have the full service gym in there so and uh, you know the premature max sports hall of fame that uh, that I'm currently working on as well uh, these are the type of projects that uh, you know that 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 is uh, going to be uh, very impactful in our nation. Uh, as well, uh, you know, if re-elected, uh, I'll get to work on uh, the multiplex arena. Uh, we need uh, a series upgrade from the one we have, so we, where we can gather and um, you know uh, and enjoy uh, you know uh, a lot of things, not just hockey. Um, you know, and you know as well, I am we're, uh, I'm getting to work on uh, affordable housing in uh, Winnipeg, Thompson, the Paw, Brandon. I know it'll take time. Uh, I understand that, and uh, but uh, we need that uh, that careful planning and uh, execution of uh, of all the plans, and uh, you know the off reserve supports as well that uh, our our citizens need. We cannot forget about them. They're our friends, our family. You know, uh, you know, they're primitive max citizens. That uh, it's important that uh, we uh, we uh, we do uh, get those supports for them. Um, and another thing I'll continue to support is the housing. That uh, my colleague has uh, done great work to uh, get get us housing, and uh, and I'll definitely support uh, the housing, uh, more housing in our in our nation. Last but not least is the uh, our position with hydro. It has weakened over the years. Um, we need to uh, you know get back that uh, that that strong. Uh, we need to get that strength back. To push hydro back and uh, and uh, not allow them to dictate, uh, you know, to us uh, how they want things. Uh, we need to, uh, you know, uh, take back our land. Uh, the programs you, you see, the uh, programs that are that are very uh, non-existent right now. Uh, the uh, domestic fishing, the uh, the fishing programs, the uh, fuel wood. You know. Uh, we haven't been able to do that the past two years, and uh, we need to get that back. And there's a lot of things that, uh, a lot of work that needs to be done, you know. And um, I need to, uh, we need to uh, get back to work, um, you know. And uh, if you elect me, Lee Thomas, uh, you know, I'll continue my hard work, my dedication, and continue the progress that we have made so far. And the most another important, most important thing is to include you in our plans, and uh, you know all the citizens at uh, across Canada. So I go sign into Temetik. Uh, I ask for your support on April 21. Vote for Lee Thomas. I go signing.